Hey there guys and welcome to Tech Engineered. My name's Andrew and today we are going to be exploring the difference in performance while editing on an SSD as compared to a hard drive. So let's get started. The hardware used in this video was a Toshiba hard drive, just a 2TB one, and a Samsung 850 EVO SSD. I am sorry, I did lose my voice, so I'm kind of hoarse in this video, but still, I wanted to make this video because I was just kind of testing this to see if I wanted to actually do some editing on my solid state drive or just stick with using my hard drive where I have more space. First off, before we really get into comparing it in an editing environment, let's talk about it synthetically. So I ran some benchmarks using the Samsung Magician tool and its benchmark, and I will go ahead and show you those graphs. Now that you've seen the difference between the SSD and the hard drive performance-wise, so you can know kind of where they lie in a totally synthetic realm and not in the actual world, but still you, you have a good understanding of the performance difference now. Now we can talk about how we're going to do it in an editing environment. So my methodology was both quantitative and qualitative. I took measurements by taking the time that it took to render out a certain video in both the hard drive environment and the solid state environment, and I also just kind of looked at how smooth it felt, and I did a side-by-side -side comparison of the solid state drive and the hard drive and the little video preview thing, so that you can see which one kind of gives you a better preview while you're editing, and I did that preview at full screen 1080p, and just screen captured that, and then I'm throwing them side-by-side -side when you guys see the testing here in just a little bit. To make sure that we had a good solid area to work off of on the solid state drive, I made a separate disk partition called editing environment, and that's where I stored the files, and then I erased them from there, and then told my Filmora video editor to snag those files from the SSD, and yeah, that's how we kind of confined it to the SSD whenever we moved to the SSD testing, and the hard drive testing just happened in my normal folder that I have for this channel. And without further ado, here are the results. So as you can see from the graphs, the SSD didn't really have a major impact on editing. Really it's all within margin of error and you can't really tell a difference and that is mainly because I edit in full 1080p 30 frames per second which I don't even think would saturate the hard drive's uh, speeds. So it's really going to be bound to the software, the editing software that you are using. Um, if you're editing in like 4K or 8K, or even 2K for that matter, an SSD would definitely improve your editing performance and what you can do, how good your preview will look, and it'll be one of the factors in that along with having a fast processor and stuff like that. But in 1080p, I don't really need an SSD environment to edit on because I simply don't saturate the bandwidth of the hard drive even. So you can't really tell the difference. In the preview, I think the SSD looked a little bit better, but that's not enough to make me move my files onto the SSD editing environment to edit and then move them back into the folder where they can be stored without taking up a ton of my more expensive, faster SSD space. So I think I'm just going to be sticking with the hard drive for now, and hopefully this video kind of showed you guys that, and maybe it will influence you and where you're going to go with your environment for video editing. If you guys did like this video, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you like this content in general, go ahead and subscribe. And if you have comments on future content that I can make, go ahead and leave those down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.